I am Cybex author William Panic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a group policy object. First thing we're going to do is open the group policy management console. An easy way to get to that is by clicking on your Windows key on your keyboard. When you click on the Windows key, it brings up the start menu and you go ahead and click on administrative tools. When the administrative tools come up, you just go down to where it says Group Policy Management and double click on that. When the Group Policy Management MMC appears, we're going to on the left hand side here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to expand our forest and we're going to actually go into our domains, which is Cybex. You know, you can actually put this on any one of these OUs. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to put it on corporate. So corporate's under North America. So I'm going to choose corporate. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say create a GPO in this domain and link it here. The name of this GPO is going to be warning box. So I'll go ahead and type that in. If it says here source starter GPO, we're not going to use any. We're going to create one from scratch. So I'm going to click on OK. Then you click on the warning box GPO, right click on it and say edit. Now the group policy management editor will appear. Go to the computer configuration section here, and under the computer configuration, we're going to go to policy. So we're going to expand our policies, and underneath policies, we're going to go to Windows settings. So we're going to expand the Windows settings, and then we're going to go to security settings once it appears. So we're going to go to security settings, and then under security settings, we're going to go to our local policies. And if you want, we can make this a little bit easier to read. So under local policies here, we're going to go to security options. Then on the right hand side, we're going to scroll down to where it says interactive logon. So we'll scroll down and here you're going to see all the interactive logons. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose the interactive logon message text for user attempting to log on. So we're going to go ahead and just double click on that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and say, define this setting in the template and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and type in our message unauthorized use of this machine is prohibited and that's it I'm going to go ahead and say OK now this has actually been set so if anybody actually logs on to a computer in the actual North America corporate OU this message will appear in this video I showed you how to set up a GPO for an interactive logon message. 